Alright, what's going on guys? Excellence here, bringing you guys another video back here on the channel. This time I got a different video for you guys, if you guys remember watching my How to Get Damascus in today's video. This is going to be an addition kind of to that series that I've kind of made on my channel so far. This is just going to be a video basically answering all the questions on what you should do before you even go for Damascus, and then some other questions on things that I've just been asked so many times and I just have to probably address it in a video just because I can't apply to all those people at once. We're going to be going over gun order, what to do first, hardest to easiest category, Categories, bugs that you might run into on the way if you need to do the DLC guns and how you get your DLC guns Damascus and just some general season 4 strats for the Damascus camo saying this if you guys do enjoy this video and you guys like the content make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on also like the video we are coming in hot on 10,000 subscribers and that is just absolutely insane if you guys do want to support me just subscribe to the channel we are almost there I just want to keep pushing there and try and get there before the next Call of Duty I'm just gonna quickly chat a little bit about the gameplay in the back this is just some random warzone gameplay i think i got like a 30 bomb this is actually using the patch growl and the patch mp5 and if you guys are curious about the class setup i'll leave it in the description below either a video or just like a just an overview of what the class actually was but in case people are curious this is just after the nerf to the growl and the mp5 within this like kind of most recent title update and yeah if you guys like to see good gameplays like this i post them all the time so subscribe for that also if you guys just want to go watch other ones i got a ton of videos class setups all that on the channel anyways i'm going to hop right into this this is what you should be doing before you even start your damascus grind you need to get in the correct mindset and by saying this you guys just got to understand that this challenge isn't really necessarily hard but it's just so tedious and some of the stuff that you're gonna have to do is just gonna make you want to pull your damn hair out and i get a lot of questions on the launchers and stuff like that on certain challenges launchers aren't necessarily like super difficult it's just super time consuming it's not difficult at all really i'm gonna give you guys a few pointers that'll kind of like maybe ease your mind at it if you guys are worried about that but one thing that you guys are gonna want to do before you even start doing this is level up your guns like all of them in the game completely you guys don't have to do the dlc weapons we're going to get into that so just all the guns that have shipped with the game back in like november or october whenever the game came out those are the only guns you need to level up max while going for this camo if you guys are curious about what those guns are maybe you guys didn't buy the game maybe you guys just can't keep up with all the guns and you're just not sure i'll leave a list of them in the video description so you guys can just see that in front of your face and come back to it if you guys are just curious about that in the future leveling up your guns like before you even go for any of the camos it's just super helpful you'll even get some camo was just possibly just playing the game i always get this question saying why should you just do this i did the camo relatively quick so what i would do is just i'd finish one gun and instead of like going on to the next one and having to level it up and just doing the camos one by one i'd be able to hop onto that next gun and just do camos like simultaneously so i'd pair like the crouching kills and like the mounted kills together the hip bar and the headshot just whatever you'll just be able to do that and hop from gun to gun super easy and that's just the, the method behind the madness there and just my opinion i think that's the best thing that you can probably do for this camo and you guys heard me talk about the dlc guns you don't have to really do them if you guys want a dlc guns like damascus you can do them after but the DLC guns you guys do not have to do to obtain the Damascus camo at first are the guns that follow. You guys don't have to do the Growl, the Ram, the Striker, the Holger, the Bruin, VLK Rogue, SKS, Renetti, Crossbow, the Fennec, the CR-56, and most recently the Rytec AMR Sniper. And this goes for even more seasons down the road. If they add a new gun into the game, you guys don't have to do that gun additionally to get Damascus camo. And I just have to put that in there. I have to just get that out there relatively quick into this video i don't think we're too far into it but a lot of people are asking me consistently i know i posted that other video like two months ago i'm still getting comments on what guns you have to do and what guns you don't have to do even though i mentioned you don't have to do the dlc gun and that's totally fine i get a whole bunch of people don't like watching the entire video and stuff like that so i thought i'd throw this out there relatively at the beginning of this video or if you're coming here for that tip then it's out there and you guys know that now but if you guys do want to get your dlc guns damascus you guys can get the Damascus camo first and then do the camo on that new DLC weapon. Just like if you're going to unlock gold for a single weapon. If you guys wanted to get the Damascus camo on the growl, you have to get Damascus for all the base guns in the game first. And then do the growl after. Just get gold on the growl and you'd be able to have Damascus on it right away. I've also had the question on if I need to get all guns gold in the game to get Damascus. It's yes and no. You need to do all the guns that ship with the game back in November. Again, list of it in the description you guys got to get those ones all gold to get damascus you guys just can't do assault rifles damascus or like stuff like that and another thing while you guys are doing your marksman rifles if you guys get them all gold i got my marksman done before i did my snipers but if you get them all gold and you're wondering where my platinum camo is or why don't i have them platinum yet is you actually have to do the marksman rifles and the sniper rifles to be able to get the platinum camo for like the, the that category they kind of bunch them together i'm not really sure the method behind their madness there but they bunch the marksmans and the sniper 
sniper rifles together so if you're missing your platinum camo for your marksmen or your snipers that's the reason all right i also have to update the xp tip that i gave you guys in the other video back then i said that the xp tokens actually stacked and for me it seemed like it did but a lot of people have came to me and saying that was a incorrect tip and it's just not stacking so i had a couple other people like that can still level up things in the game i had them test it out for me and xp tokens do not stack with the double xp weekend i don't know if it was just a bug or a glitch when i did it but i ended up leveling like two of my guns up in one game doing that on the double XP. so i apologize for giving you guys that tip at first but if you guys did use it hey you got your gun leveled up anyways but i just wanted to put that out there for any other people that are like maybe just starting their grind or are like nearing the end of their grind and don't have a certain category leveled up yet that the xp tokens do not stack on the double xp weekend all right we're going to hop into the best game modes and maps in the other videos i'm telling you guys to play shipment and shoot house all the time right and that still stands for this video but i get that shipment and shoot house are kind of scarce now you don't really see them pop up in the rotation too much uh, coming from the weekly playlist but when they are in the weekly playlist just please please take advantage of them i promise you if you guys play more on that weekend you'll just get way ahead in your camo grind than if you guys were to just play the normal maps but if shipment and shoot house are not viable to play on any smaller map is good to level up your stuff or just go for certain challenges that is also i need to tell you guys to just use the maps to their specific like strengths and weaknesses obviously your ground war maps they're going to be good for long shots and mounted kills that's what i did a lot of my snipers in ground war. so there's really no specific maps that you guys need to play on shipment and shoot house is just going to kind of expediate the process of getting the cam but like Warzone is just perfect for like long shots just passively getting you know you hop on with a couple buddies and you end up getting 30 40 long shots throughout the night and it feels like you're not even going for the challenge but you actually are you're just having fun while you're doing the challenge if you're stuck on long shots specifically another good game mode is that warzone rumble thing i don't know if it's in the game currently but if it is if it's just a ltm that they kind of rotate in and out that thing is actually really good for long shots snipers especially it's really sniper dominated that game mode in general so but like almost every kill that i was getting is a long shot so those who are curious about that are just stuck on long shots you guys can use that tip if you guys are just stuck on long shots i'll leave a video um in the description below that you guys can go click on i posted it a couple weeks back about like tips just for long shots and stuff all right we're gonna move on to the launches here now the launches are not difficult at all they're just super super annoying to do and they take the absolute longest out of all the categories to actually complete so if you guys haven't got your launchers gold yet and you guys still have primary weapons to do please put your launchers as your secondary weapon and just passively get them done. Level them all up and then shoot things out of the sky. I'm telling you this right now, you only need to shoot down personal radars and counter UAVs. Of course, you guys can shoot down the other things, right? But the personal radars and the counter UAVs count for both air and ground streaks. So if you're shooting down just those, you're only gonna have to do 75 per launcher. And if you guys have your launchers leveled up all the way, it'll simultaneously count for your vehicle destroys also. So you're gonna be getting three or four camos or whatever the number is done on one launcher at the same time just shooting down those two score streaks at least that's what it was like for me when i did it which is also going to bring me into my next topic is that patches happen guys you guys got to realize that what i'm making this video today it could be different in like two weeks from now you know like the tips that i give you could be outdated just because they've updated the game and they've changed it in the in the system so you can't do some of the things anymore and one big thing like i just mentioned was when you could refill your ammo from the um the crates in ground war and just shoot down things at the back of the map with your launchers all day they ended up patching that and my comment section just got flooded with oh it doesn't work anymore it's wrong you're just you're just telling lies and stuff like that you just got to understand that that's how what i did so it might not work for you guys later down the road if you're watching it like two months after the video was posted all right if you guys are still stuck on long shots and just realizing my script here i got some season four strats for you guys scrapyard is really good for long shots and also mounted kills you got a ton of stuff to mount up on and get long shots with so if you guys are struggling with either of those then scrapyard is your way to go all right one thing i gotta really just pound into your guys brains right now is just to work smarter not harder the whole goal is to get this done as efficiently as possible it's not about getting super fast it's not about taking two months to get this damn camel because that's just not the whole point if you guys are working smarter rather than harder it's just going to be a better time all around if you guys are pairing camo challenges together which is something that i have to really emphasize here make sure you guys are just pairing the headshots the hip fire and the crouch or mounted in the crouch or whatever it is just try and get like maybe two to three probably you could probably only do two actually now that i think about it just try and pair like two camel challenges at once and simultaneously get that done when i was doing that i would come across the time where i do all my challenges on the gun before i 
I even got the like I think the spray paint camo is like the 800 kills or whatever it is for that specific weapon sometimes I would finish all the other challenges before I even got the amount of kills done for that certain weapon and that happened quite frequently too it wasn't just like a rare occasion where I get like one or two th guns done and I haven't le leveled it up I'm like I'm talking about maybe one or two guns per category all right and a tip that I don't want to leave out because I left it out in the last two videos that I made on this is for those launchers man if you guys have the ability to play drop zone then please do that it'll just be so much easier for you because there's just always streaks coming around in the sky but if there's no drop zone you guys are just struggling so hard for your launchers run the field upgrade the airdrop one i think it's called emergency airdrop run that and also run care package and once you get your field upgrade throw it into the enemy spawn same with the care package throw it towards the enemies where they're spawning at and just pray to god that they're going to pick it up i know i'm kind of giving you guys a tip based on luck here but that is also what it really is some game modes that i found good for shooting down certain streaks like personal radars and counter uavs was like ground war but that is kind of like outdated now unless you're doing the pila but like free for all 10v10 shipment's pretty good it's tough to shoot down especially with the joker on shipment the map that i did the joker on i only did it on shoot house when it was the weekly playlist the one we so it goes back to this tip with me just emphasizing just use utilize those weekly playlist guys i promise you it'll just be so much better all right and that about wraps it up for the tips here guys man if you guys have any questions comments or concerns maybe you guys got some tips for other people drop them all in the comments below man uh, i'm all about just trying to help other people with these type videos so if you guys have other tips that i didn't mention or that you think are better just drop it in the comments man and have other people just try and help them out you know anyways guys that about does it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys tap that like button subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on like i said we're getting super close to 10,000 subscribers so if you guys want to help me and be part of the journey here on youtube make sure you guys hit that subscribe button i post class setups and warzone gameplay all the time high tier gameplay too so if you guys are curious about that anyways guys hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope it didn't take too much time out of your day of course it's been excellence peace out